We're back with Gone Home. I can't wait because last time we were just brought up into another whole aisle of the house because this house seems very huge. We need to explore, okay? Don't look at me like that. We haven't been exploring in a while and I need my fix. So you gotta explore with me. Yes, exactly. Okay, okay, dropping some frame rate in the beginning. But there you go, because my fucking GPU is amazing now. Okay, nice. Open drawer. Yeah, grab cassette. Let's listen to this awful music. Oh, this is actually beautiful. It's very loud. I hope you don't mind me lowering the shit up. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, this is one of the most beautiful we've heard because, you know. What is that? Press water dispenser, give me. Did I just. Mr. and Mrs. Jones Blair request the honor of your presence at the marriage of their daughter, Helen Margaret, to Mr. Richard Morris Pottermock. Ugh. Is that our Richard, the one our mom is banging? Sunday the 4th, June 19, blah, blah, blah. Mmm, so they're getting, I don't know. I, I don't remember most of it, but I remember my mom was banging somebody. Why did I not close that drawer? What, am I crazy? Okay. My mom is not very, Sam's schedule, working at Crown Burger, whatever. We don't care, okay, so Sam was working. <gasps> Give me. Grab bottle. What is that? Salad dressing. Can I put it there? What kind of salad dressing is that? I guess I can, guys. Can I put it back there? There we go. What is that? Cheese? Relish? What is relish? Ooh, banana and... Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna make something stupid. There we go, now it looks like a penis. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, let me close this shit. Crappy more, crappy more, not cutting board. Nothing really important. The timer of the microwave. Beep, 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 beep. Don't you just hate it when you're there in the microwave waiting for shit to come out? And you can't wait? Okay, okay. You know, every time you guys tell me that it's not really important. And it's not really scary as a game, but I don't care. I get scared nonetheless. Okay, what? There's nothing here useful, apparently. But I don't want to miss anything, because at this point, every bit of information is important to understand what happened to our sister. There's crumpled shit! I demand I see it! What is that? Samantha and Danielle were in the woods one day. <laughs> I wonder what they were doing. Um, it was sunny and they were on a, an event there. A uh, event there? What is that? But I went to the back part of the wood and it got dark. Daniel said, I used card. So Samantha said, No, are you thy lamp? And went more into the bad part. Then they wheat to a part that was never there before. And there was a ship, a, a period ship. Why is it written so badly? Daniel finally came over to get his game. Shit, I didn't read it! I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. Oh, that's why. I started reading it. And it was really bad. And there I was, Look crying at, that. at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends. How much I'd taken for granted. Yes, because you only want him for his gaze! I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. Oh, and then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. Oh, what did he say? He gave me a hug. Oh, it was going to be okay. For some reason, I almost believed him. Wait, what? Damn it! What's going on? Okay, let's read this shit. Uh, on an auction, Samantha said I'll be the captain and you be the fresh mate. Daniel said I can. And they went on the pirate and started sailing away. This is like most of my YouTube comments. What? Okay, so that was the the whole story. Stove. Open door. Is it something in? Nope. Close it. 
I don't care. I want to shit. I want to see see shit. Whatever. I forgot how to English. Phone is never working. If one day it will, it will start ringing, I will shit my pants. Let it be known that my pants will be shot. Okay, there we go. Congratulations on your new position, dear Regional Conservation Director Greenbeer. Is this for our mother again? Having received your formal acceptance letter, I write to congratulate you on your position as Regional Conservation Director. The State Forestry Service. We wish you luck in your final weeks at Flintlock National Forest and very much look forward to welcoming you to your new desk in the State Forestry Office at 8 a.m. on May 1st, which was written on September, okay. Oh, is that April? Because you Americans like, you know, not to be the same as everybody else. What? <laughs> no way I'm going there. I wanted to go here first. Broom. Broom, broom. There's all the boxes. Tuna dinner. And uh, a lot of cereal. Are you cereal? I never said that. I wanted to say that for a long time. I took my opportunity. Don't judge me. <gasps> Is there pits? Fuck mother! They leave every crumpled notes everywhere. Their porn stash. They don't leave a single piece of pizza. Monsters. What is this? What is this place? What is that? Is this another book from our dad? Okay, this is gardening equipment. Let me tell you that I'm an expert. Okay, there's a bicycle with a note and I'm not willing to do that. We can't open that. Okay, the... Fuck that shit. This is the garage, I can tell. Because I'm smart. Is there anything here that I need to read? Oh my lord. Crown Burger Sam. Okay, so this is where Sam was working. Work it. Bake it. Do it. Faster. Okay, nothing really of the... Uh, importance I, it bugs me that I can't open this shit you can't have everything in life though okay Sam your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating an anniversary June 3 7 oh oh we will be camping in the gorge or we'll give you a call on the way home sorry the kitchen is still mid renovation never trust your contractor four dollars is on the table throw the pizza while we're gone be good okay so they're gone they're not gone for the reason I thought they were gone for. What is this? Dear Mr. Greenbrier, first let me say that I hope this missive finds you well hell. It feels like a goddamn miracle that it finds you at all. Do you know how long we've been trying to wreck you down? Worry not, we aren't the feds, the man in the black, or any other sort of creeping past of hobgoblins. In fact, we're on your side. Let me start from the beginning. Unknown Dimension is what you might call a specialist publishing house. We traffic in the weird, the ahead of its time, the lost but not forgotten by a small but dedicated group of black and Bible files type out of there, mass market. Okay, whatever. Is this is this advertising? But ever since we discovered tattered copies of your John Russell, oh, mild mannered insert engine by day, reckless history, revising sociopath by night is the twisted space keeper that modern suburban American deserves. It is our mission to bring him back to life. Okay, so those weird pages that we found in his study, writing about, a, I don't know, God knows what, uh, they seem to interest in this company. We want your permission to reprint the work since your original publisher, Mercury Books, folded in decade ago. We want you to supply the new foreword for the books to appear in brand new edition of The Accidental Savior and The Accidental Faraya. Pariah, sorry, to be produced by Unknown Dimension as a limited run and marketed directly or lightly. Okay, why do they want it though? Blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. But he already wrote this shit. Why do you want to replub republish it? Republish it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, okay. So it was the only really the only good. It was this one. Ah. So basically our mom and dad are gone, long gone, to something that is not so bad as I thought. So because they went on a trip together to celebrate their anniversary and probably the lack of the fact that our mother is sleeping with Richard because our father is not very good at sex. But what happened to Sam? 
Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we'll have the run of the whole house until you leave. Imagine actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking to our usual spot in the attic. Not that the attic doesn't have its posterior, but my bedroom is warmer. Sam, we should defy your parents' bed while they're gone. That'll show them. Lonnie, your gross never change. So, whatever. So, she invited Lonnie at home. What the hell happened? Sam, you gotta give me something else here. Because I really don't understand what's going on. So, basically, I thought everyone was gone because of this situation. But apparently, no. Okay, so we have to come here. Okay, there's another of those shitty thing. Oh, Buddha Tao, a going away show for Lonnie Day. Girls cap last shower show ever. Okay, so this is another ticket for that girl's... Lonnie Tell me. going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. Oh my god. When she was singing, I could... Oh yeah, she was singing for the group there. Everything. But we only had 48 hours left. Because? That I don't know what comes next. Oh, because she is going I away. Live without her. Oh, I know what's I going on. She dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. Damn. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Oh, snap. Fudge! So basically, this is, I mean, because Lonnie is going away on that mm, military trip she was talking about, and Sam can't follow her, so maybe that's what happened. Nothing bad. Hi, Mom and Dad. Sam have a wonderful time on the beaches of Barcelona. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I am headed to my final destination, Amsterdam, for how long that depends. I'm running low on money. I will look for a cheap standby ticket and call you when I'm headed home. Sorry for the long short notice. Can't wait to see you all. Okay, so this was before... I mean, right before we came back home. Maybe what happened is just that she went away. She went away because she couldn't handle Lonnie going away. Or maybe even... Uh, where am I? You know, maybe she joined the same campus as Lonnie because she's, she can go by herself. It's always important to flush. Oh. They have so many bathrooms. Okay, whatever. Have to just stuff. But pizza on a weeknight? Yes! So where are we going? What is this? This is another bedroom? This is more like the laundry room. Okay. I see. Everything is detergent, detergent. Folded shit, cleansing powder. Folded shit, more cleansing powder. And... Ah! Hand soap. Hand soap. I'm sorry. What is that? I can't take that. Open a washer. Nothing is there. I can't open this one. Softener. Oh yeah, dryer. You guys have this shit. <gasps> There's a note. Sam, I wish I knew how to explain it better. The army is this thing I grew up with. It's part of me. My dad's army's friends are like family. I've always known it was where I end up. I never thought of it either way. I wish things could be different. Maybe someday when I'm settled at a base and you're down with college and you're a famous writer and I can rebuild a tank engine with my eyes closed, things will be different and we can be together. Until then, L. Oh my lord. Okay, she, this girl doesn't want... I mean... Okay, I'm gonna tell you something. I know when you put yourself to do something in life, uh, you don't have to keep doing the same thing that you wanted to do when you were a child. Sometimes things change. Priority in life change. So maybe she didn't really want to... Oh, this is very cool. She didn't really love uh, her enough not to go to the army. I'm not saying it's selfish of her. I'm saying it takes a lot. Oh, okay. Everything is messed up. Turn this shit on. Books. Okay, this is the same book our father did. But there's some notes in it. For some reason, we can't open it because we're stupid. Manuscript. 
Oh, there's another manuscript from our fr our brother is like a book shitter. He shits books for a living. Ah, not important things. What is this? From the pen of Terence L. Greenbrier. Dear Cass, I can't tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for seeing, sending along copies of the new editions. The cover is really something. I know you just said that Unknown Dimension isn't the business of printing new material, but this revived interest in my work is brought on a wave of inspiration, resulting in a manuscript that completes. Oh, oh, so it's a sequel! Which I think you may find intriguing. It is reflective and introspective without forgetting the excitement and weirdness that Unknown Dimension would expect. I hope this might be an exciting new direction for Unknown Dimension to pursue. At the very least, I'm grateful that John Russell Adventure didn't come to an end quite when I thought they had. Oh, okay. He found inspiration, inspiration after he was published again, which is very cool. Cover copy. It's been almost 20 years since John Russell heard a call twice we said... Okay, so this is part of the sequel. There's another note here. Where we'll do it. Secret door is under stairs. Midnight, June 5. Final preparation are complete. What? What? We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. Thank you. We'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos to find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. Well, she's always crying as she's always I there. Was to do. Holding her, not crying and too. Cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life See? was gone. She doesn't really give up. She said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. Okay, she cried. That's when Great. she cried too. Fucking hell. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that. So what did you guys do? In the morning, I woke up. And I was finally alone. She was gone? Like that? No! What? Really? That's just really bad. So this is, she was gone without saying goodbye to A real proper goodbye. So... I think we're over with the parts of the house that we haven't explored because now we have a new location. Okay, let me go to the foyer because I know that that was there, I think. Under the stairs. Was it this one? There we go, was that? Okay, I didn't even see it. I must be some kind of uh, magician. What in the world? Oh my lord, why would you do that to yourself? <gasps> Attic key! The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. Okay, don't become emo just now. I just want to sleep. Oh, she, she gone. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. Is my sister there? Oh my god. I swear to god, something happened to Sam and she closed herself into the fatty fucking attic. I'm gonna yell. What is this shit? Oscar? Mason fa Pharmacy? This fucking pharmacy. Who's the, f the fuck is that? What are you guys doing in your free time? Possession and exorcism. This Muslim pharmacy is not the first time it comes up and it must be the only thing that I'm not pulling together. Okay. I don't want to believe that my sister is in the fucking attic, okay? No way. She seems very hurt from what happened. Oh my god. Please, please, please not be here. Please, please be in a happy place. Sam? Sam, I'll always remember what we had. Say so strong, kick ass. It's a drawing. Oh my god. K 
Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic, in Lonnie and my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. What calls? I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie, on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me, and us, and that she couldn't go through with it. With I knew it! apart, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can, and get in your car, and come find me. And let's just drive. Oh. Until we find somewhere. For us. And she asked me... If I could do that. Do it! And I said yes. No. Yes. Yes, guys! She did it! They did it! Oh my god. I thought I... <laughs> to be honest, guys, I thought I was gonna find her dead up here and my heart was not gonna be able to take it. Am I gonna ruin the photos with this lamp? Ooh, army photos? Oh! I love the detail of the nail polish almost gone off. It was it's basically what I what I do every time with my nail polish. I'm so happy. I thought I was going to find my fucking sister dad, guys. I just can't. What is this place? Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person. But you're happy, right? That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal, and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. I do understand it. And that you won't be sad. I won't hate you! And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Oh. Someday. Love. I'm so happy! Yes! Oh my god, I thought something was going to happen! Oh, this is very... It was beautiful! I'm very impressed with all this. I know it was just, you know, like, not really a game. It was more like an... Uh, graphic adventure, a storytelling as a game, but it was really something about a, a person that grew and succeeded to be happy in the end, because I was so scared. I was so scared to go up in the attic and find her dead, and I am so happy that I didn't. I'm so happy that as I said, the things that you want to do as a child, that you promise to do, sometimes you don't have to pursue them, because as you grow up, your priorities just change. And you just have to do whatever your heart tells you to do. And I'm so happy that Lonnie finally decided that Sam was more important at that moment in life. So I'm really happy, I'm so happy. I was so scared. I wonder if this is a real story, uh, I mean, if there's some biographical feeling to it. Thank you for making the game, very beautiful story. And I'm sure that, I, knew, I mean, a lot of you have ex either experienced the feeling that Semelon experienced, or you know someone that experienced it, so this is very cool. Oh! Oh, we finished the game! Oh! So cool! I'm so happy we finished this together, guys. I know that it's not our typical game. Like, there's not much gameplay. Like, not at all. It's me running, not even running around the house, because running is prohibited. <laughs> me going around in the house and reading notes, trying to understand what happened. But nothing really happened. Basically, the whole story was Sam discovering that she... Not really discovering, but coming to the pact that she is... She is indeed in love with uh, Lonnie, and she likes girls. And their parents not understanding this. But their parents didn't leave, because the whole thing 
looked like they were, something happened. But really, the parents just left for anniversary, so they don't really know. That's why there's nobody at home. They don't really know La uh, Sam just escaped. We can call it escape, because we don't have any phone. We can't call her. We don't know where she is. But we know that she's happy. Uh, she wrote all those letters to me because I'm her sister and probably we had a really wonderful relationship. But we weren't there to support her during because we were in Europe and shit. So she wanted to tell us in first person what happened. I'm really happy she did. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. I do, I do really appreciate it if you do. Uh, it lets me know that you enjoyed this. Uh, have a heart. Have a Loni and Sam heart, and I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye-bye!